months to go in the race for the White House, and today President Biden is expected to sit down with Democratic governors in another attempt to, cor to correct the course after last week's debate. And meanwhile, former President Trump is in the clear to focus on his campaign this summer with several of his legal challenges facing delays. ABC's Christiane Cordero with the latest from Washington. Today, President Joe Biden is set to meet with Democratic governors, rallying support after a week of setbacks. At a private fundraiser Tuesday, Biden again apologized for his debate performance, saying, I wasn't very smart, adding he was in at least 15 time zones before the debate and that, quote, I didn't listen to my staff, joking that he almost fell asleep on stage. Biden returned to the U.S. 12 days before his showdown with former President Trump. During the debate, Trump spewed an arsenal of lies, including that everyone wanted Roe versus Wade overturned. But much of the fallout since has called Biden's fitness into question, including from within the Democratic Party. I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a, a condition? The White House is pushing back. What I can tell you is that um, he had a cold and a bad night. Uh, I would not see this as an episode. And a new poll released by CNN shows Vice President Kamala Harris performing better against Trump than Biden. She is in the majority of Democratic leaders doubling down support. Look, Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once and we're going to beat him again. Trump was set to be sentenced this month following his conviction on 34 felony counts in his hush money trial. But the judge now pushing sentencing back to September after the Supreme Court's landmark decision granting Trump broad immunity for official acts. A president has to have immunity. Judge Juan Mershon says he'll consider what, if any, impact the ruling has on the case. The growing pressure on President Biden in the almost week since the debate has turned his re-election campaign into a message of reassurance. Meetings with governors, congressional leaders, more press availability, including the first post-debate sit-down interview with ABC News on Friday, are all part of Biden's response. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.